Hello and welcome everyone to our latest presentation on weaning failure and diaphragmatic muscle weakness. These are very common problems that we face every day in our ICUs. However, there are no specific therapies to deal with diaphragmatic muscle weakness. We have this transvenous phrenic nerve stimulation as a novel therapy for treating diaphragmatic muscle weakness. However, it's not been analyzed properly in randomized control trials. So here we are analyzing a study, a randomized trial on transvenous phrenic nerve stimulation in difficult to wean patients. So let's see what happens. Uh, this is a multicentric trial which was done in France and Germany. And in this they basically had a weaning protocol and if the patient did not get weaned after following this weaning protocol and was termed as difficult to wean and was an adult patient, they were included in the particular study. And this is basically a schematic diagram showing the monitor and how the pacing was done. Here the catheter was introduced from the left subclavian vein and the black dots that you are seeing those are the places where the stimulation is happening. And this had to be calculated before insertion because the placement of the catheter is important. And this shows how the stimulation was done transvenously in bilateral phrenic nerves. The pacing sessions consisted of four to six sets of 10 and these sets were one minute apart. Two to three such sessions were done in a 24 hours period that is around 120 sets were given per day. And this was done for 30 days period and once the patient was extubated within this 30 days period then it was removed after 48 hours. 127 patients were screened out of this 112 were uh, randomized. 57 in the transvenous stimulation group and 55 in the standard group. 14 patients were such who could not be stimulated by the catheter so they were excluded from the modified intention to treat analysis and 43 patients were included in the modified intention to treat analysis. So here we see baseline characteristics between the modified intention to treat population and the standard population and as you can see it is roughly similar except the MIP which is slightly higher in the standard group and the diaphragmatic muscle thickness measured by the M mode which is also slightly more in the standard. In terms of the outcome the successful weaning was roughly similar in the two groups so not much difference however the diaphragmatic function was much improved the thickness improved as well as the MIP change were much more significant in this population. So the conclusion that we can draw from this study is that even though the transvenous phrenic nerve stimulation was not successful in terms of successful weaning, it did improve the diaphragmatic muscle function and the MIP and it did not have much side effects. So it is overall a positive trial which shows a noble therapy really doing good in terms of the actual action which for which it was used maybe diaphragmatic weakness is not the sole reason for weaning failure that is why we did not did not find a positive outcome in terms of successful weaning but overall it did improve the diaphragmatic function without any serious side effects so maybe something which can be evaluated later in further studies and do give us a like if you did like our video thank you